Well, we're we're uh, pretty relaxed here, so we haven't haven't thrown anybody in the jail so far, but not enforcing prohibition. No. <laughs> So it wasn't meant to be comfortable, it was meant to be a place where you didn't want to go again. I was born and raised four miles down the road uh, to, to the east and Bev was more like 10 or so miles north. I decided, you know, for the summer months that I was down here helping with the family farm that I needed a place to stay. Uh, rather than at my parents' place, and so there was a house here that was available, and my land was right here, so we decided to rent it, and as time progressed, then I bought more land, and then we ended up buying the house, and then we renovated it, and then we built the new house, and and uh, and my farm expanded from there sort of thing, and that's how we got to be here. When we first arrived here, there were other people living in Scottsgard, obviously, it, it has dwindled down to just the two of us. Well, I guess, uh, I would almost say it grew out of necessity. My dad was getting up in age, so he was sort of pushing for me to start taking over the whole thing. So so then I said, well, I need a place to put my grain bins and I may as well do it right here where, our, where we're living. And then I needed more space to park my machinery. So, you know, and, and there, the whole town was uh, basically just debris laying here and there in the other place. So. So wherever I wanted to park my machinery, I just had to get a hold of the RM and, and it just grew from there. And pretty soon I, I decided, why don't I look at, you know, filling in the blanks. Come on in. Everybody needs one of these, a style chart. So you dial in what color your suit is and it, it tells you what color shirt to wear and what color tie to wear. We're, we're gathering, uh, too much stuff maybe, but uh, but yeah, we do have more and more stuff and we are getting quite a bit of stuff uh, donated to us. This is some pictures of Scottsgard in the early days. Here's a citizen's lumber yard. The McCree hardware turned out to be uh, Edwards hardware and Western hardware. And and that's what was an island store. Uh, where my shop is there, uh, there was a fellow living there that uh, was, uh, we'll say, a colorful character. And anyway, he and a couple of the other bachelors that were living in town were very offended because in one of the newspapers they had listed uh, the ghost towns of Saskatchewan. So it says here, Scottsgard now belongs to the ages. It's the only claim to fame is that of a ghost town. And they were very upset about that. <laughs> they thought there was way, they should have talked to the real people in town. There was no, there was no ghost town situation here, so. We're, we're, the, we're the new ghosts. <laughs> This, this is your famous RCA Victor dog. Listen to the records. Uh, 200 needles in this here. And it says, use each point only once. I don't think that ever happened. I think they played them a dozen times or so. That's what these little things are here. They're to hold the needles. So I guess you're supposed to have good needles in one and use needles in the other. I'm not sure, but. When we moved back here, there has always been people driving through Scottsgard, and a large majority of them um, 
where people who once lived in Scottsgard come back to visit to see what the place looked like, uh, how the town had changed for them. And so they're telling us, you know, their stories of how their parents uh, decided to leave. You know, when we first got here, I was, uh, I was concentrating on putting food on the tables. I wasn't thinking about preserving Scottsgard. That wasn't on my list. Well, I think it's all about history uh, because uh, Yeah, <clears throat> lots of people come through here and they say, oh yeah, we remember having something like that. Don't, don't know what happened to it. <clears throat> no, we're just, uh, I think I'm just it's preserving history. Just to be able to uh, speak with these people that have a connection to Scott Scars, whether that's through the grandparent or, or their own parents, what they remember of what Scott Scars was like, to see the joy in people's face, faces that um, somebody is taking care of their place. <laughs>